train crushes deaf woman to death in Ogun State. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. The pamphlet the disease had with her suggested that she was deaf. Now this is tragedy. I'm sure that before all these things will happen, similar things like this have happened in the past. What have been the proactive measures to make sure things like this do not happen again? What did the government do about it? It is the go yes, the government, the so-called commissioner for this commissioner for is it roads or train? If it is, if it means stationing, stationing those who are going to be making sure people don't pass the rail line. If it means what exact what proactive measures exactly? I want to know. Because I know that this is not the first this will happen. Is it that it will keep happening until when? <laughs> when you are doing something that is good, hmm? it is also good for you to have, you have, um, you, ha you are proactive to know that, oh, this thing I'm doing that is good, or these are disadvantages. I keep saying, because I know that similar incidents like this have happened in the past. Past. When even those who are killed were not even, they were not deaf. So what were the proactive measures? Our government always like until the thing, the, the matter, it gets us, it, it, water can pass Gary. That is when they act. <laughs> it is very sad, sincerely. We shall we will send condolences to a family, but it is a very painful way to die. The news in detail, please stay with us. The deaf woman who was soliciting for funds had been crushed to death by a Lagos Ibado standard train. The incident happened in Itoki, Ogun State, on Wednesday evening. The pamphlet the disease had with her suggested that she was deaf. She was also soliciting money to look after her baby. A Twitter user, Ozo Zakios, in a post on Wednesday said the deaf woman was killed by the federal government train at Itoki, Ogun State, this evening. The most painful part of this story is that she was looking for who and how to help her baby. She has a small paper with her written on it. Was her request, please help our team. The 157 kilometers long Lagos Ibadan Standard Girls Rail will start commercial operations in 2020. All I'm saying is that things like this, it is foreseen, as in you could say, oh, this thing will happen, no, right? It has been happening. What are going to be the proactive measures? What are going to be the proactive measures? Because I don't want to understand now. Like, uh, why I'm saying this is because in a country, if it is a road, the road start getting spoiled gradually. The pothole starts from small before it gets to big. Before, before you know it, maybe somebody is from assaulting. Somebody's vehicle is from assaulting. Somebody it is now a dead trap. It is when people now start calling, you know, they call the radio, they call, they, they put it on newspaper. Somebody died on this place. This person died. So the amount of people died. The accident has now happened weekly, weekly. That is when people will now raise up their hand and say, hey, government, the government will now... Does it, have to, does it have to get to that point? Because I hope we all know that somebody who is proactive is also is going to be there for the criteria of whoever is going to be the presidency. Somebody who can see... Who can see the end from the beginning? You are doing something you have to have in mind. What's the disadvantages of whatever you're doing? You are going into a business, you should know what the disadvantages. The business is not going to be all rosy. You are, is it a road? Is it a rail? Because I, I keep saying because things like this is not, it's not the first time these things are happening. Is if it happens, okay, it has happened in a good state. What other proactive measures are they going to be taking to ensure it does not even happen anywhere again? These are the things we are supposed to put into consideration. Okay, it has happened. Is it everybody will consider life like nothing happened until maybe some other one? Nobody is saying it should happen, but if we do not do anything about it, I tell you for what, another one will happen. Another. That is the truth.
so pathetic. If it is pathetic, it is pathetic, very pathetic. It is, very, it is the one of the worst ways to die. A very painful death at that. And the fact that she has a baby, nobody even knows what has become of her child. Nobody knows her. Being proactive is needed to. Please, people, if you're picking the next person, <laughs> why I keep saying that we need somebody who has the interest of Nigeria's at heart? Because it is the person who has the interest of Nigeria's at heart. When he in turn will be picking his ministers, he's going to be picking um, a minister, special advisors. He in turn will also pick those who have the interest of Nigerians at heart. It will not be a collective people of those who are really who are really wanting or hunger for a better Nigeria. It is going to be better than you putting somebody in there that does not care when he himself when when he himself gets to that place, gets to the presidency. He himself. Somebody will come and lobby for for a position, a ministerial appointment. He will give it to that person. It's not supposed to be so. It is not supposed to be so at all. Sincerely, it is it is a very very hard way, like a very a very very hard breaking way to die. It's heart wrenching. I just hope that at the end of, maybe after this incident, something should be done. We don't want to hear that this happened though. There are some avoidable deaths going on in the country. The deaths going on on a daily basis. Nothing should be added to it, sincerely. Do you know how many people die in Nigeria that is not, that is not a, natural, a natural, natural, natural death? As a person who was not, it's not natural. Please. You don't even want... Another, any other one added to it at all. Our death rate is quite high. People die these days. People die in many, many ways. Are we going to talk about the bandits? Are we going to talk about terrorists killing people? Are we going to talk about people committing suits? That one is another topic for another day. Are we? It is high time we do the right thing. We put the right people in government. Those who are going to think ahead. Yes, one thing is to do roads. Another one is the road they have done. Since it is going to be expressed, a lot of accidents will be happening. What are you doing to... Ex of course, if you will see free road, the, the road is, there is no more pothole to make you slow down. And maybe that road, maybe people, um, people cross it often. What do you think will happen? You keep hearing accidents until maybe the government now decides to build a flyover, a walkover bridge. 